Shibit. Hello everyone and welcome to another speed paint. I'm going to be redrawing this old picture here. Hope you enjoy! So this old picture was drawn in 2011 and that was, you know, the last year of the rabbit. And of course this year was also the year of the rabbit. And when I tell you I've been waiting literal years to redraw this picture, I am not joking. I remember a few years ago I would go back and look at this picture and be like, oh my god, I cannot wait until it's the year of the rabbit again so I can redraw this on that year. Because I've always loved this picture, I always thought it was a really fun concept. But of course, you know, as the years go by, the actual art quality of it is, you know, not as good, in my opinion. I don't think it's awful or anything. I'm just like, well, definitely 12 years, I can definitely draw better now. <laughs> so I was excited to redraw this this year. And the thing is, even in January this year, I was like, oh my gosh, yay, it's the year of the rabbit. I can redraw this picture. I will put it on my list of things to do and I will redraw it this year and it'll be all great. <laughs> and then months went by and I would look at it again and I'm like, well, you know, the year is still long. I can draw this later. <laughs> and then now it's December and I only finished it, I think, in November. So I basically waited 12 years and then I waited another year <laughs> before drawing this again. Um, because this was actually drawn in like January of 2011. So really it's just about 13 years that I waited to redraw this. Like pretty much basically that's it. And I do laugh about that because I'm like, I waited so long and then I waited more. But in the end, I think it works out because if I had drawn this in January, I wouldn't have recorded it for a speed paint like this. And now I can. And I feel like it's a, it's, it's a good concept for a video idea. So I'm glad that I did wait. I just laugh at myself a little bit because of how long it actually took. <laughs> so as for the actual content of the picture, the 2011 picture consisted of a group of OCs that I had at the time. The main girl was called Amy. She's the one with pink hair, and she's also the main one with pigtails here in the sketch. And then the rest of the characters were just also people in her life and stuff like that. It was just a group of OCs. For this new one, basically they're all pretty much the same characters. At least they're inspired by the same characters. Because these are also characters that are based on some of my oldest ever OCs, which also, if you are familiar with my other concept, Jaden Unshaken, a lot of the character designs and a lot of their personalities are pretty similar. They, they all go to like one place in my history of OC making and that old thing is called the Go Girls. I was 12, so it's not a very good title. But yeah, so the Go Girls was like a superhero cartoon inspired sort of thing, like Teen Titans, the Powerpuff Girls, Naruto, those were things that it was inspired by at the time. And then as I grew, you know, I started to like anime more. I really liked Slice of Life. So I reimagined the characters to be more of a Slice of Life sort of thing. And one of those iterations was a maid cafe setting. And so that's what this redraw is. The actual 2011 picture, they weren't in the maid cafe setting anymore. That was more like a 2010-ish thing. But this new picture is, you know, back to that maid cafe setting. And the thing is, earlier in this year, I think, I also redesigned all the characters from that maid cafe setting and renamed them, rethought of them. Like, a lot of the characters are pretty different now, to be honest. Really, only the character based on Amy is very recognizable, and then there are a few others that are, like, pretty recognizable too, but there's a good deal of difference between the two groups of OCs. But I still wanted it to be inspired by those old characters because I still love them so much. And I remember like through the years, I would always think back on it and be like, man, I miss those OCs. I miss those like situations that they would get into. I miss their whole vibe. So I had tried to redesign them a few times. And this year I feel like I really settled on a good set of designs. And because of that, uh, I actually drew some more detailed pictures of the group. And I was also inspired to sort of make a comic. Um, I haven't finished working on what I want to work on yet in order to like post that anywhere, but it is sort of in the works. It's very, very low priority for me because I don't want it to become a job. So I haven't really worked on it in a few months, but it'll slowly but surely be made and maybe eventually I'll post it. But yeah, so the actual cover of that comic idea is what I'm using to reference for their designs because I actually didn't like 
sit down and design all of them. I just sort of drew a new picture <laughs> and sort of made up the designs as I went. It helped because I already had base ideas from their old designs, but you know. When I went to redraw this bunny image, I definitely wanted to use these new designs. I didn't want to go back and use those old ones, like the ones that are in that old 2011 picture. But I did still want to keep the idea, so like I wanted to keep them as like little chibis with bunny ears. I did consider giving the pink haired girl bunny ears as well because that's how it was in the picture. But as I was working on the composition, it was really difficult to include all the necessary elements and not make things look awful and crowded. So I ended up removing her bunny ears. I feel like the picture is just better that way. I remember really struggling on the composition, so. I think I'm happy with how this came out, even with her going without the ears. All the little chibis still have the ears, so I feel like it's okay. Speaking of the composition, you probably noticed that it is very different from the old picture. Like, the old picture was sort of like face on, pretty symmetrical in how the main girl was standing. She was like facing forward, hands out, and then the chibis were all over her. And I just felt like when I was starting to redraw that, because I did have like an earlier recording, of me starting to redraw that exact pose. And I was just sitting there and I was like, man, this is actually so boring. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to change the composition. And I feel like that also reflects my abilities as an artist now. So I don't mind too much that it's very different. I feel like the vibe is still there, so I think it's okay. Something I said to my friend when I was discussing the idea of redrawing this again was that my old self really had a lot of fun ideas, like this, you know, cute girl holding all the little chibis with bunny ears for Year of the Rabbit. Like, I feel like that's a great concept, but you know, the execution, I mean, again, I was very young, so. The execution was to be as expected. But the idea, I just felt like was so fun. And I feel like I need to recapture that sort of like, I don't know if I want to call it whimsy, but I don't know. Something about the ideas that I used to come up with are just kind of silly and fun. And I really want to get back to doing that sort of thing. I don't know. Maybe I already have been, or maybe that's always been a part of what I do. And I just am critical of myself nowadays, but... Who knows? <laughs> I just feel like there were a lot of good ideas. I feel like a lot of young people can really think of just fun ideas and I really want to recapture that sort of way of thinking. Oh, before I forget, I was going to reintroduce you to all these characters since they all have new names and all that stuff. So the main girl, her name is Nicole. There are reasons for all these name changes. Like some of them I took from like the middle names of what the old characters used to have. Like Amy's middle name was Nicole. So I'm just gonna take that and make this the new girl's name now that she's a new character. <laughs> so the one sitting on the carrot cake, which by the way, that is carrot cake. I chose that because of, you know, all the rabbits. Anyway, the one sitting on the carrot cake, his name is Eric now. And these characters, you might find that he's recognizable if you're familiar with my character named M. Once again, they both come from the same source, but this version of Eric is based on the one that was in the cafe version of the story. So the personalities are actually, M and Eric are very different actually. They have a few of the same hobbies, but still. I also remember that in the first panel he was introduced in that old comic. Amy was the main character, so you saw it through her eyes. She was looking at him and was like, wow, this person has pretty eyes. I don't know what gender they are. And then she was like, oh, well. <laughs> and I just, I, I can't believe I wrote that back then. <laughs> I was like, wow, the gender truly really didn't matter, huh? What a good time. <laughs> And then she just conversed with him like normal. Also, since these are new characters, some of them have different pronouns and different gender identities and all that. So just as a heads up, Nicole is she, her. Eric is he, him. And next up, I'll go with the other characters on the plate. Gabrielle, she, her. The one with the sunglasses is Dom, he, him. Going from there, the bunny with the glasses and the red hair is Chris, they, he. The one in the pocket is Maury, he, she. The one in Nicole's hand is Emma, she, her. And the one on top of her head is Leo, 
they, them. Also knowing my audience, you might find it comforting to know that Gabrielle is trans female, Chris is trans mask, and I mean, it's pretty obvious that Maury in the pocket there with the he, she pronouns, she's gender fluid, so you know, that one's pretty obvious. And of course, Leo, they, them. I just thought you might find it comforting just knowing you guys and knowing myself. I will also say actually that one fun fact about the old made comic is that the character who is Eric now, the one in the dress with the green eyes, uh, with the he, him pronouns, that character also, in the old version of the story, in that maid cafe, also had he, him pronouns and also wore a dress. I just always kind of leaned that way, even back in 2011, and it was not a joke. Which at that time period, could have been. I'm just really glad with myself that that wasn't the case. He just sort of always has been in the maid dress, so I wanted to keep that for the redesigns. I mean, it's iconic to me. <laughs> I've always loved it. It's always made me happy. Um, anyway, so this video is about coming to a close. I really hope you enjoyed this redraw. I was waiting many years to do this, so I am actually so excited about it. I'm really happy with how it came out, and I hope you enjoyed too. Which of these characters would you say you like the most just by looks, or maybe some of their personality that you can tell from the chibis, or Nicole herself? I would absolutely love to know. Because once again, I am sort of on and off working on a comic with them, so I would love to know your thoughts. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.